guys, it's your girl Sweetheart Sammy and I'm back with another video. And as you can see from the title, I am doing a get ready with me. <laughs> so this is my first get ready with me. So guys, just bear with me. Like, you know, I'm struggling. I'm still learning. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm doing a get ready with me. Also, um, I bought a few new products that I did want to test out because like, I've just been going through a foundation crisis and yeah all right y'all so i did my eyebrows off camera because you know eyebrows my eyebrows be taking forever and i'm kind of tight because i feel like i fake eight with my eyebrows today like usually my eyebrows be looking but they look a little you know on point today and I say that to say because one of the products that I bought today that I was testing out, so I usually use the brow pomade by um, LA Girl. And you know, you open it up, it was soft black. And I usually use my little brush, spoolie on the end. So what I used today was the Morphe um, Definer Brow Pencil. I think I found my new friend. So what I did was, all right. I outlined it so how the pencil comes it has the little crayon on one side and then the spoolie on the other side I outlined my eyebrows with the crayon then I used a little bit of my LA girl pomade in the middle just to like fill it out a little bit so when you go with this it doesn't really like come out dark it's really like you have to like really press but when you're doing eyebrows you don't really press so I guess yeah it's just for the liner so I outlined it with this and then I went in the middle and then I just kind of, you know, blended everything with the spoolie. And I'm so happy about this. This was $10. And I got it in the shade Chocolate Mousse. It was the darkest one, but it's also not black. Moving along. Today, our biggest thing is foundation. So, Bill and I be going to our little Saturday slash Sunday dates. And, you know, it's football season. So, we be at Buffalo Wild Wings. You know, little bars or whatever. I noticed the last one we was at, I took a selfie. And I was real orange. Like, orange like the wings like orange like buffalo like orange and this was after like maybe two hours of me having the makeup on and i was like why do i look so orange in the picture but then when i came home and i was looking in my bathroom like i was like it's giving a little oompa loompa like it looked real orange mind you my um foundation that i've been using for years nobody could tell me and i've been getting so many compliments i've been using this nyx can't stop won't stop and cappuccino and it's it's just not i don't know if i got lighter or it got darker they did something honey no i came home my eye i looked crazy then i'm like looking back at old videos i guess because the lighting it didn't look so bad but like in real life no 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 mama it's it's not and this this whole time but i mean with makeup you live and you learn live and you learn so what i noticed with my skin is my undertone is not red you know i have undertone yeah mine's is not red and i kept buying this that's why it kept it kept giving me this orange look so i'm more of a yellow because i tried on some stuff in ulta and i was like hmm this looks more you know so i got some help i did do a lot i was in ulta y'all i'm not even gonna lie for about like four hours because you know with foundations like it's either you got it or like that's it because you can't return and then these foundations be so expensive and then it's like to spend the 40 or 50 dollars just for you to just not use it it's, it's not worth it if I could get this open well anyway guys so I purchased the Fenty um the Fenty by Rihanna Pro filter soft matte foundation it's a big thing I guess because it's Rihanna I just wanted to see what all the noise was about but I'm not gonna lie I put it on in the store and I was like okay I mean my skin is not skinning right now because I'm breaking out I don't know why but when I rubbed a little bit on my face I was like hmm maybe this could work so yes this is what it looks like it was 40 bucks and I don't, it, look, look at the big difference from what I was doing let me show you so it's like this is straight like orange like what y'all think was i walling with this or am i walling with this i don't know but when i tried this on in the store i was like oh. but we shall see all right so let me put some 
lashes on. Oh, I also bought the Tarte Cream Concealer. Um, so I bought the little one a long time ago and I fell in love with it and I don't know why I just didn't go get it. But today I was in there and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. And I bought it in color tan deep honey. So one thing I did notice about this um, concealer, it doesn't move, like it doesn't crease. It's a little bright and I'm brightening up my eyes. So, and this concealer was like $30. That's what we're doing today. So let me throw these lashes on. All right guys, so I mean, I like my makeup very natural. Sometimes I'll be doing a little eyeshadow, more times not. If I do do eyeshadow, it's always the um, the Warrior by Juvia's. And it's always these colors, but I don't use all these colors. I may be like, so is this something close to my skin? Like nothing like, you know, just to get a little spazzazz over the eyes. And y'all, sometimes I be using like, um, see it does, it doesn't really do much, but just want to give it a little color. Y'all, I'm still stuck on my eyebrows, y'all. When they say you be needing new makeup, you really be needing new makeup because my eyebrows, and then it's like, now you, I look back at it, I was like, dang, my, I was doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so bad. Just a little bit, just to, just so because when I outline it with the um concealer, I don't want under them to look too white. All right, all right, lashes. Now I am going to put on my duo lash glue. So what I love about the way I do my lashes is I don't put them on my lashes. I put it like right above my lash line. And guess what y'all, I still have lashes. And I'm just not a patient person. Like I'm not about to spend an hour and chain in somebody's chair for lashes. And I like to wash my face, so I can't bother with that. I like to come home, peel them off, and go about my business. Out of my lashes. I just clean up my lashes, just, but it dries down clear. It looks a little blue or white or purpley, but it really dries down clear. I don't know, I've been breaking out and it's so weird because like, I'm looking on the camera and it's giving like fake flawless. Not really flawless, but it's giving like, it looks good, but y'all, my skin has just, and it's so crazy because the other day I was just saying to myself like, oh my God, I'm so proud of my skin. Look at me, look at me. Boom, boom, like all over the place. Anyway, all right, throw my little baby lashes on. Y'all know me. These are some regular beauty supply store lashes. I am just peeling off and sticking on. I can't with the fuzzy long lashes. I just like everything to look natural. Like if you could look at me and be like, all right, she don't have on makeup. I hope it's on because sometimes I be having to peel it off and stick it back on. What a difference the lashes make. Like insane. Oops. Come on, come on. Well, guess what? We working with it today because honey. Like I said, guys, I'm still learning. I'm a work in progress. Still learning. And again, don't be scared jumping in the comments. Sam, that's not how you do lashes, this is how you do it. Like, let me know what you think. Give me some tips, but everybody different. This is how I do mine. So don't be afraid to share how you do yours. All right, now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me primer. Um, I've been using this primer forever. It's just like the best thing ever. It feels like lotion. I'm so glad I'm doing this, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, lately I've been feeling like so defeated because, you know, if y'all have been watching my last videos, you know, I'm going through it, you know, the baby situation and, you know, it just be hard for me to be consistent, those things, but I made some promises, you know, and baby and I are still working on our situation and we will have more news coming soon. And then it's like, I be like, even when it comes to like doing this, I be so in my head, I'm like, are they gonna like it? Are they not gonna like it? Like, I really gotta learn to get out of my head, you know? Because like, this is fun for me. But then I'm always thinking like, I don't know if they're gonna just shut up, Sam, just do it. So anyway, oh, and this smells so good. Smell it, y'all. <laughs> it smells so good. A little Christian Dior overall body moisturizer. All right, so boom, let's see what this is about. All right, cute little pump bottle. So I love these bottles. However, you see when this, all the stuff gets hard in there, like my old one, y'all, it, it just doesn't come out. But anyway, the pump is cute. You know, pump a little on my flat top. Always start with a little, then I'll add more and see what we got. I always do my forehead last. Um, I don't be liking to have a lot of makeup on my forehead. I don't, if I could put it everywhere, Except my forehead. What? I look crazy. Look at my neck. I am looking a little weird. All right now for the finish. I'm just going in with the matte finish. Um, finishing spray. I'm using this my travel one because I just want to 
like finish it and you know buy another one just a light spray just to see how long Riri holds up all right now for my hair oh my god guys it's pouring outside and I'm not about to waste time curling and fixing it um so y'all yeah, know those who know me know I'm a pixie girl however um I just be black and forth between the two so these are clip-ins I had got these clip-ins from um these I ordered these actually from Empire hair if y'all want a clip in video let me know down below I ordered these online and it's from Empire's Empire hair and um because I be in the gym my head sweats so much so when I come out I could just like blow it out and throw these clippings in you know last minute and then I did want a traditional sewing but then my hair was so short to be braided so yeah this just grow this just does it for me and now my hair is growing out so and I just like how natural they look they just be you feel me <laughs> but yeah so um I don't know I don't know y'all I don't know if I want to sit here and really curl it I'm gonna just throw maybe some jumbo curls in the end just to give it a little <laughs> just for it so when I get outside for it to fall it's a wax yeah and it, it's good on curl oh look at my hair okay yeah it's good it holds curls you know and i just go in it with my little holding spray by influence but yeah i'll i'll spray all of them once i'm done all right guys so this is me after an hour like i had to make something to eat real quick because like i don't really like to go out to places that i don't know hungry hungry so i had to make a quick little lunch so yeah um this is the fenty after about like i would say about like two hours and usually what I did notice with my NYX, I started to get really oily because I have very oily skin. But with this, the matte finishes, it's holding up. It's holding up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. We'll just see at the end of the night. But right now, I'm just going to throw something on, get ready for dinner. I'm not going to dress up. Just probably... Some rain boots, tank top, something simple because outside is a mess. All right, guys, I'm ready. I just have on a simple black tank. So let me just start by saying the weather is really weird in Atlanta. So I have on leggings, um, but I do have on a tank top, but it's raining. So the thing is, it's really hot, but it's raining. Yeah, it's a mixture of everything. So I'm gonna wear this with my leggings. Um, I'm gonna put my rain boots on and I'm also gonna wear fragrance perfect by Marc Jacob y'all I forgot to spray also gonna just throw my jacket on my tan one I don't know if I need a scarf probably not no just my tan jacket and I'm gonna bring my white soul bag and that's it. Yeah, these boots bug. Yeah, I can't bother to be bothered with everything. So that was my get ready with me. I know it's a little bit like on the doll side, but don't worry because I got a whole bunch of outfits coming up. <laughs> a whole bunch of outfits coming up. So love you guys. Thanks for watching.